chance. I still wonder sometimes if there's even such a thing. You know what I mean? The way I met Jake, though, was what some people might call by chance. Lucky. I was at a bakery on down Nash Street, past the president's house at Barton College, the historic part of Wilson, mid-October. I was about to turn six, and mom would watch me tie my shoelaces on my own for the first time the day before. To celebrate, she took me to the kind of castle like Mall in Raleigh, bought me a new pair of shoes. I wore them right out of the store. Tags dragging on the ground. I wouldn't let mama cut them off. Inside the bakery, it smelled sweet, kind of honeysuckle-like, candy everywhere. Deep down in my memory, I know I had been there before. But this was the first trip I could really remember. I saw another kid grip it on the countertop, push up on his tiptoes so he can get a better look at the cakes behind the glass. He was hovering over one with a cowboy on it, lasso ringing over the cowboy's head, kind of halo-like. The horse's hind legs bucked out from underneath him. It was the cake I wanted. I remember thinking he didn't deserve that cake. He still had the Reeboks with the Velcro straps. Our moms recognized each other from what? I don't know. It doesn't matter. The fact that their kids both had bowl cuts and a birthday in mid-October was enough. Sociologists might call this in-group bias. An economist would call it collusion. But some people might call it by chance, lucky. See what I mean? Now that I think about it though, I mean really think about it, that might have been the beginning of the Wilson, North Carolina unofficial neighborhood watch gossip and book club. By the time we left the bakery that day, Jake and I each had a birthday cake and a new playmate. I got the cake with the cowboy on it.